Hi, this is Lynx from Sweet Natured, and this is our Ola Tacos and Cantina review on board MSC's Virtuosa. As always, I'm joined by Marky. Hello. Hello, who put the video together, and this is my first time watching, so let's see what we can see. Hola Tacos and Cantina review, Lynx. Mmm. That were big. Mm. I should have brought snacks for this. I know this is a terrible idea recording this one at lunchtime again, because that's when we're actually in here. It does open for lunch on this, and it has its a la carte menu, so you can pay as you go, or what pretty much everyone does: the seventeen ninety nine all you can eat. Yes. To give it a sort of idea in terms of costs, if we'd have paid for what we had and we didn't go overboard, it would have been about seventy seven pound. As opposed to 36. Yeah, yeah. So it, you might as well just go for that and then see what you fancy. And we went at lunchtime. We did, and it is worth pointing out that at lunchtime, well, I mean, you've just seen as we were walking in then, it is very quiet, which has got a big plus in that the food's really fresh, you get served quickly, but there is a lack of atmosphere when there's only two other tables in there. Yeah, you lose it. Ambiance. The ambiance. Ambiance. <laughs> you do. <laughs> at night when we went past it, we never actually ate in there at night, but it was absolutely rammed and you could hear the noise from outside. It sounded to be real fun. I think you probably eat more at lunchtime. Yeah, I suspect you do. And the service will be better at lunchtime, I'm sure, as well. Now, these margaritas were good, but they were not covered by the premium drinks package, were they? They weren't. Now, the normal margaritas were... But if right. you've got the frozen ones, which weren't that frozen anyway, no, then you paid extra for that. So it's just to be aware. They were really tasty. But not frozen in the traditional sense. If you're Princess Cruise or something like that. You... Where you've had one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, what we did when we went in, the, the waiter took us to the menu and basically just made his recommendations. I think we should have done more of this rather than the tacos. What, more of the nachos I think and the should, cheese? And the cheese and the nachos and the cheese and then maybe <laughs> some tacos and then cheese. <laughs> you like this pull of cheese, didn't you? I love it. Well, once it. you figure out how to actually pull the cheese. But the nachos were probably the best nachos we've ever had on a cruise ship. You know, I want to say yes, because I, I could have them now. I know. I, I could definitely have them now, given that it's lunchtime. <laughs> we've just got to stop doing this. We really shouldn't record food videos at lunchtime. No, it's a terrible idea. No. But having your, your way to guide you through it, especially if you're not familiar with Mexican food or maybe you've just had just tacos or burritos, burritos, burritos in the past, yeah, um, is a really good idea because he just basically brought us anything. But would you like to invite people to subscribe before we carry on? I would love to invite people to subscribe. Thank you so much if you already have done. It means a lot. And, oh, you can also follow us on social media and maybe join our Facebook group. And we have our Sweet Naturist membership on YouTube if you'd like to support the channel and have access to more things. Exclusive. Exclusive things. Exclusive. <laughs> now, you mentioned about having some of the other bits. Yes. You weren't as blown away with these but I mean, what did you do with that tomato then? You, you barely showed it the salsa. Well, I know. I mean, they were very good, don't get me wrong, but... You you liked all this. It was just the same You were blown things. away by the cheese and well, the nachos, weren't they? The fillings were the same in just different outfits. Now, it, well, yeah, kind of. Um, but they were really, really tasty. Well, they yeah. look like the big, but they're actually pretty much a, a one-bite job. One bite? Yeah, you can easily one-bite these. How big these. can you get something in your mouth? It was at least <laughs> two or three. <laughs> You'd bite half of it in that bite there. I think I do it in two or three. You could have easily. Done you can't that. do them in one. You definitely cannot do the filled burritos in one. <laughs> no. They they were incredibly tasty. Oh, you should have gone back to the cheese. Though. And then desserts wise, uh, the dulce leche and the uh, and the Tres tray leche. and the tray leche for, that you had <laughs> is one of the best desserts we we've had on a cruise ship. I know that you like the Sindhu bread and butter pudding, but for me, this is right up there as one of the best puddings I've ever had. You really enjoyed it, didn't I you? I did. But from a, a review point of view, we do think it is fantastic value for money. You do pay extra for it, but seventeen ninety nine for something like this, you'd pay so much more than that off of a cruise ship. Yes. We said lunchtime is far quieter, it is with much better service, but you do lose yeah. the atmosphere. Yeah, definitely. There's no hustle and bustle, is there? No. 
but it is nice that you get really quick service. You do have to be wary of some of the drinks not being included if you do have the drinks package, but it was only those frozen margaritas. Yes. And overall, we think it's fantastic, and we've said it eight and a half out of ten. Totally agree. And that's the end of another video. Well, cheers, darling. Ooh. Cheers, Lens. Thank you for watching, and have a lovely day.